hydrogen in there, and the white is hydrogen. Right. So if you change one of those atoms, or you change something, the structure of this drug in any way, you know, it'll it'll interact with that receptor differently. So if, and you want to see where it's binding. So if you see that that hydrogens are, are, are bouncing around with that little red uh, thing inside, the, you know, of the protein itself in yellow, is, then there's some side groups coming off of that yellow, huh. right? So the drug is, is in that, uh, it's called CPK, so it's like spheres. You know, that's the drug itself, but everything else is the protein. So how that drug's interacting with the protein is, okay. is what you're after. So if you change some part of that drug, how does it change the interaction with that protein? So you can make it stick in there tighter huh. or not so tight, depending on how you modify the drug. And this lets you know how to do it because in, without any kind of modeling or understanding, you wouldn't know what to do to make that drug better or worse. Right. To stick in there tighter or less. Yeah, I mean, this, this cat type of simulations allow you to construct a hypothesis on, on you know, how the system works. And from there, you go to the lab and you know, do some real experiments to confirm what you think uh, is true. And then you can also change the protein structure. You go in and change amino acids, and now see how that drug interacts. And then you have some understanding of, of what's happening. So it's just about going back and forth and understanding how to, because basically all drugs, medical drugs and bad drugs, whatever you call them, they all, they all interact with proteins more or less. I mean, it's not completely true, but most of them do. And so we are able to model the drug and we're able to model the protein. We can see how they interact and we can make them better. And some, so this protein, uh, there's another protein that say similar to this, but you want the drug to interact with the yellow one and not a red one that you're not shown here, right? And so you can, even though they're very similar, they're not identical. So you can make the, you can design the drug so it interacts with the yellow one and not the red one. Hmm. Virtual space rather than going through the trouble of synthesizing the drug. So any kind of drug can take weeks or months to synthesize in the laboratory. It's a big deal, and then you see if it works, and then. Here you can just draw it and see how it interacts. Yeah. It, it, it can be done in theory very quickly yeah. in the future. <laughs> so, but now it's no, no, I mean, in theory it's right. actually very, very quick. Uh, you can test. Uh, I mean, depending on the type of study you do, uh, it can take uh, I don't know from 30 minutes to, to months. But uh, if you do one of these 30 studies.